1222 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the East Coast in the United States of America in the great state of Michigan. I'm XRP, future millionaire. And I'm coming on for this uh, emergency, well, not emergency, but this is a critical update. Again, <clears throat> when all of YouTube tells you one thing, I'm going to tell you the truth. And no, I'm not just going to give you a long or short prediction. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen before it happens and everything that's going to happen in between. And it's doing exactly what we talked about. Exactly why I said all the fudsters on YouTube were going to get you hammered. And I've been sticking to it, guys. You just have to watch. Join my Telegram. So join Tom's Army, $9.99 a month. I've literally been talking about this all day. I've been in there for no less than probably a combined two hours worth of audio. Um, but we talk about this. We talked about how Bitcoin had to come down to either this 42500 And if it can't hold this area... And we were matching with the four hour time frame. There's this chance that we come into the abyss and it's down to like that, or it's actually 38,500 when I was talking about the abyss, like this. But give or take a little bit, it could go either way at 39,892 or 38,549, but it could get stuck in this abyss. And then this big pump that everybody's talking about is simply the retest, and it'll be a double top up there. So, I mean. Right now, listening to the Fudsters on YouTube is getting you absolutely hammered. They all made it sound like when we broke 44000 it was off to the races. Just imagine if you had any part of Bitcoin before this better than 7% drop right now. Imagine if you listened to anybody and you were taking out long positions yesterday or the day before. Sure, this could work out for you in the end, but the bottom line is it was a bad trade on a technical standard. And if you're watching those people that are suggesting you would have bought yesterday or the day before because we have these big pumps coming, but not showing you the gray areas in between, which really matters. Because what does it matter? Let's be honest. If they tell you when Bitcoin's at 45000 to buy or 43000 they tell you to buy. What does it matter if it's only at forty two five? Well, the matter, why does it matter? Because you bought it at forty three and then it went to forty five five a couple days ago. Now you're stuck in a position you got the hopium. You didn't do your proper research and didn't look at the proper technicals or just simply didn't listen to me if you watch and you're in my audience. That it had to come down to these levels. First, we had the 30-minute time frame that it broke. And I told you guys, you can't base this big bull run because alt season's not coming, ladies and gentlemen. I hate to break it to you. It's not going to be in the fashion you think. We're going to get a little bit of a run, but not in the bull season that you anticipate. So... We broke through the 30 and then I told everybody the last two days, do not buy anything unless you're confident that it's going to run off away from Bitcoin, which some did. That's why I always preface it by if you know something's on a different pattern than Bitcoin, then you can buy it. But if it's running you know, unilaterally with Bitcoin like XRP, XLM and all the ISO coins and all the main coins that we usually cover and not the small market cap coins, then you got a problem. Because I said, don't buy until Bitcoin comes down to the four hour time frame. And we were moving it up. It started at 41,101, but we've moved it up as the four hour time frame comes. But like I said, we will see when it gets to the four hour time frame because nobody should be in a position until we see how it reacts there. Because then there's a chance if it fails that we come into the abyss. And look how the Ikamochi or the Ikamaku or however the hell we say it, the Ichimoku is suggesting that we could have a drop point there as well. So if that drops, then you start looking at our coins. And look, guys, I'm the best in the business for a reason. And stop selling yourself short and just all this money I save you, all the money I make you every single day, and you have to pull the trigger at the end of the day. I always get credit when it goes down, but I'm never telling anybody to sell it. I say I'm liquidated. Just like when it goes up, I'm never telling anybody to buy, but I'll tell you if I'm in a position or I'll tell you my reasons why I'm not. So... The thing I kept saying when we just went up that 10 to 15% the couple days before the last 48 hour flush is, are you going to be able to get out of a position? And I can already tell you 95% of the people, even in my telegram that went against the grain and bought and got a nice pump up, an artificial one at that, I told every single one of them to cash out and buy it back when Bitcoin proves it can hold the four hour time frame. Well, the majority went against what I said because they wanted to hold it and they figured they had enough leeway. The problem with that is, is now some of these coins like XLM, that pump started at about 18 cents. You know, now we're back down to 18 and a half cents. Now there's no, now even if it comes through, you, you're screwed. You have nothing. You can't even take that profit. And now it's all hopium. Now you're going to hold it regardless because you're waiting for it to go back up to the profits you've already seen. So I always say paper gains. 
and in hand gains like that money in hand are two completely different things and now imagine now you got to pay the short term trade you got to pay the crypto tax you know it, it becomes a big mess the in and out fees so when i start to talk a strategy i'm talking from the long game you can't just look at it from, hey, I'm in and I just made 7%. There's a lot that goes into that 7%. Are you keeping that 7%? Can you get out when the when it makes 7%? Did you get at the very bottom and sell the very top? The answer to all of that is no, unless you're not in the position. It's easy to say I would have got in here and got out there. If you tell yourself that you can do that every single time and it's my fault or that you you know it's somebody else's fault and not your own, Take me out of the equation. But if you're blaming market manipulators or the fudsters or the news, you know, or just this is ridiculous, it should have went up here, you can see it on a technical standpoint. There's a reason why I nail these time and time again. And sometimes I like to talk to you guys because sometimes you need to understand my mindset. So make sure to hit that like button. The bottom line here is Bitcoin could have a liquidation dump down to 38549. Uh, Make sure you watch the 41,800 is the most important level right now if you want it to hold and not start dumping down to these further levels. Because there's like the 41,500 down here. But I like, or the this is the next level. But I like to show instead of going at 41,500, I like to show that 41,800 and then the 44 or the 41,1. Because then in between there, there's really nothing. There's nothing. There's really nothing in between here that's going to hold us up. But I told you guys that this is just what happens, okay? And now when everybody's lost all their, you know, they took the swing trade at the wrong time. Now is the time, like right now there's blood in the water. Now is the time when everybody's selling out because all the fudsters told her. I mean, look how much everybody's getting hammered now. Literally hammered because everybody's listening to the fudsters. If you are listening to the fudsters still, $9.99, come to my telegram, guys. I mean, I have a community here that's, 246 people now i believe and i literally guys this is me this whole morning it's my private channel this is all this morning because i'm trying to warn my audience from 10 10 45 a.m i've been non-stop in here and these are just the audios from 10 45 because i know i knew what was going to happen um so and then you can talk to me personally like look at all these people that talk to me it, it's not just one person i talk to a lot of people so that's what I want you guys to understand. And in conclusion, XRP, 72.2 once again, like I said, see this little arrow right there that's been sitting here? That was supposed to be the bounce. That's like the, uh, what do you call it? That's like the transition area. If it didn't bounce off that with a wick or just a quick pull down, it's likely coming to 72.2. Even the Ichimoku is suggesting that my targets are in line. And I even put out right here the three wicks up there. And I said, that's not good. And that should be all the proof you need that we're coming down. And I even put it on XLM. I pointed to where the reversal was. Look at that. I pointed that that's the reversal and that's going to lead us down. And that was how many, two days ago, I put it on my live stream and said, guys, this is the reversal candle and this is why we shouldn't be getting in. So, for all those reasons and more, I think you should hit the like button. I think you should consider joining Tom's Army. And there's a reason why 254 people are signed up to Tom's Army for $9.99 a month. There's a reason why 245 people sit in that telegram and wait. Because we're trying to get on the same page. So, now my biggest fear is, is 42,500 is going to be used as resistance right now. If you're not in a position right now... The number one thing you have to do, and yes, it might cost you a half or three quarters of a percent. You have to make sure 42500 is going to be used as support before you buy back in. Because if it gets hit as resistance here at 42.5, actually it's up higher because now we have to use the four hour time frame. If 42704 gets hit as resistance, this isn't going up. So watch that very closely. XRP Future Millionaire, best in the business.